Hey everyone, it's Tremia, and it is Tuesday. I was hoping to make this video on Monday, but I didn't get all my information until today. And I was gonna, I said my next one was gonna be a Q&A, but it's not gonna be this one. It'll be the next video, because I have information that I wanna share about what's going on with me. <laughs> that sounded selfish, didn't it? <laughs> it's all about me. Now, um, I was waiting for the phone call regarding my um, high glucose readings. And I was supposed to get it on Monday. And I did, actually. Except it was on the wrong telephone. And so I didn't know until it was too late in the evening. Um, anybody that is disabled in the way of their walking... <laughs> Um, you know you cannot make it to the telephone in time. And about three years ago, it was driving me batty because I could not make it. Every time to the, tel the telephone would start ringing, I would start heading there as slowly as, as I was going. Um, but I, I was trying to get there. And by the time I'd get there, it would already go to, they'd hung up or I'd go to voicemail. And so, to save my sanity, Dwayne turned off our ringer and um, just left it to where, you know, all of our phone calls that come into the home go to voicemail. But I always have my cell phone on me. Dwayne always has his cell phone on him and Sheldon also. So that's our main form of communication. I mean, even like when I'm in my bedroom, and they're out in the house somewhere and I really need something and I cannot do it, I'll call them on the cell phone. <laughs> it's, it's like our intercom system. But um, anyway, I've told the doctors to take that phone number off of my records and to use my cell phone. But to no avail, they, three years later, they call that phone number. And we would actually get rid of that phone number, except it's part of our um, our package with our internet, television service, and everything, and the phone comes with it. And, like, if you take the phone out of there, it breaks apart the package, and then it costs more. And so we just keep the phone there. Um, so I called them at about 10 o'clock this morning. And it's good news. It's a good report. Um, my pancreas is working. So the virus did not get my pancreas. I mean, yesterday, last night, I was just one. I was just upset. And, you know, every kind of thought going through my head. You know, all the what ifs and all of, all of that kind of stuff. And um, so it was... That was good. So that just means <laughs> it just means I'm fat. <laughs> it means I'm overweight and I need to lose weight and I need to exercise. So you know, there's the there's the problem. <laughs> um, we we know that I'm more or less bedridden still. We're still trying to get my PT and OT um, approved through the insurance. They want to know why I'm still homebound. Well, so the doctor is getting them that information. And uh, it's like they're paying all the claims out to see why I'm homebound. And, um, uh, and as, far, as far as the weight, the prednisone, you know, I'm going down on the prednisone. And so it'll start coming off. And the high dose prednisone I had in June is what the problem with my weight is right now because I've had it enough times in the past to know it takes six months for it to start to go away so uh, in December is when I really expect to start losing weight that you know it'll start coming off and by then you know my movement will be improved I'll be having more be walking more hopefully be on our um, stationary bicycle 
and you know getting more calories burned and so with that you know you know you can control in the past whenever I've had problems with with diabetes you know it was due to prednisone and um, the growth hormone and so it would go away and so I'm hoping that with this you know it's just you know that Dr. Burt said there would be ups and downs this whole entire first year and I talked to my nurse coordinator today, Paula, with Dr. Burt, and she said, yeah, you know, this could be one of the ups and downs, and it's just, you know, with the time, it will it will get better. And so my endocrinologist, she, re she has me on two insulins right now, Humalog, which is fast-acting, and Lantus, which I didn't think I explained very well in the last video is a long acting so I'm on I'm on two and I take the fast I right before I'm getting to eat I take my blood sugar and I take the fast acting I mean just right with my, when I'm going to eat she said to make sure I'm eating within 10 minutes because that will start acting and my sugars are high enough now so I know I'm not gonna like dip low you know get down in the 40s or something and start acting acting funny had that happen it's no fun so um, but you know so it's quick acting so I've got to eat within 10 you know start getting food in me within 10 minutes and also she wanted me to be on 30 grams of carbs per meal mm, that's a little it's not a lot so with that that ought to help me lose weight too <laughs> so that was all, you know, it's something that I can take care of and can manage. It's not permanent. There's no damage. The virus, as far as we know, is gone. It's not still in my body. Um, did get a back a bad report. My white blood cap is back down to 1.1. You know, it went from 3.3, from now I'm down to 1.1. And that, it's, again, is the ups and downs. And I expressed my concerns about it being so low, and it's you know it's the time of the year for the flu and all that kind of stuff. Dwayne brought home a cough, and now I've got a cough, and you know stuff like that on me. It can go from a cough to pneumonia to um, pulmonary failure overnight. I've had it happen, and I don't want to have it happen again. So, you know, my concern is, is should we do the Nupogen to get it back up and, but it can bring it back up and then it can fall back down. And so it's going to, you know, it's Dr. Burt's call because my, that's what my blood is doing in any way on its own. So he might not want to add the extra drug in there. And so otherwise I'm just going to be confined because I told her, I said, you know, it worries me. I don't, I, you know, being around, you know, being around people, you know, just en it's enough with Dwayne and Shellen coming in from being at work all day or being at university all day, you know, locked in rooms with people, coughing and spreading germs and stuff, and then they come home and, you know, give it to me. So that's one, another piece, you know, I'm back to that piece of the puzzle to figure that out. And, you know, do I just not worry about it and just keep on pushing forward? Or it'll be Dr. Burt's, Burt's decision. And she said she'll email him. Right now he's in Brazil or Turkey. He goes to, like, Brazil, Turkey, China. He's teaching them the stem cell transplant process for autoimmune diseases. So that's really good. So that's why he's out of the country, you know, here and there. So that is all my news. I go to the dermatologist Thursday. I'm going to have her try to help me figure out how to get, you know, the blotchiness out of my skin. She might tell me it's still too young and tender to do anything with it. And if so, I'll just wait. And the fingernail polish is Essie Ladylike. I really like it. And that's all I have for now. And the next one will be a Q&A. I'll see you guys in the next video.